update in a deadly runway crash that killed a popular valley mixologist earlier this year. The 25 year old woman now in custody more than two months later. Fox 10's Danielle Miller joins us live with an update on this case, Danielle. John and Christina, this uh, crash happened right here along the I-10 near Ray Road. DPS telling us that the driver in this case, she was badly injured. She's been in a rehabilitation center ever since this crash. She was just released and just arrested. 25-year-old Hannah Dyke arrested on a charge of reckless manslaughter. This after DPS says she was driving the wrong way on the I-10 near Ray Road when she hit and killed 31-year-old Bobby Kramer. It happened on February 10th. Toxicology reports show her blood alcohol level was .275 or three times the legal limit. It's hard to not get angry when you hear that. I own a brewery. I create, my company creates alcohol, but we still don't condone alcohol for the use of um, that that type of intoxication. If you're at our, one of our locations, ask our bartender for an Uber, we'll buy an Uber. Um, it's just, it's with modern technology, it's unacceptable. Bobby worked at the Brickyard in downtown Chandler. The husband and father was very well known for his mixing skills and kind personality. Those that loved him most still hurting from this senseless tragedy. People like Arizona Wilderness Brewing Company owner Jonathan Buford and many others who joined together to support his family. A fundraiser raised close to $120,000. Buford also created the Human Kindness Brew in his memory. He says it's everything Bobby represented. Bobby lit up rooms. I mean, we're still talking about a month later and... It's not like he went out of his way to be Mr. Popular. He didn't run some social media account to be the most popular guy. And now look at us, we're still talking about him, showing that he was authentic in his kindness. And that human kindness uh, beer you just saw there, it is still on tap at both locations. You can also buy it by the can at the downtown Phoenix location. Buford is hoping people will enjoy that beer. Uh, while remembering Bobby, he says he's hoping people do that responsibly. He says there is never an excuse to drink and drive. Reporting live, Danielle Miller, Fox 10 News.